In this video, we will be looking at thermal analysis in ANSYS Discovery. We will look at two scenarios which will cover a setup of simple thermal analysis in relation to uh, electronics within an enclosure. The second scenario we'll cover will be um, a CHT analysis or a fluid solid heat transfer. So um, the first step is to open up our um, CAD model into um, Discovery. So in this instance, we've got um, a router of some sort. Um, I'm not interested in doing analysis on the um, the case or the antennas in this instance, so I'm going to hide both of these in our um, tree up the left hand side, and I'm also going to exclude them from the simulation, so I don't want the simulation running on those parts. So um, to set up a thermal analysis, it, we can set up one very, very quickly by applying a heat source to a, a body or a component. So in this instance, the, the component we're going to add the heat source to is the um, the chip. So I'm going to triple click on this chip and that'll allow me to select the whole body. And then using my quick access guide here, we can also use our tabs along the top. But I'm going to use this quick access guide. We can um, set up, a specify a thermal condition. So here we can set a temperature, a convection rate, heat source, and also if we specify it's an insulated body or face. So um, I'm going to set up a heat source and I'm going to give it a value of um, 20 watts and I'm going to say total heat. We can also apply heat per unit volume. Once I've done that, we can straight away get results. So you'll notice the solve button has now become available. We can click that solve button and we can start to um, find our results. So um, if we look to the right hand side, we're getting some thermal results and we can see that the max temperature in this instance is, uh, is 48 degrees Celsius. We can change the, the, um, the units to whatever, and we can also analyze uh, heat flux. So um, going back to temperature, we may want to make a few changes. So at the moment, all the materials are set to structural steel. In reality, that's probably not the case. So let's pause this simulation and make a few changes to the um, the materials. So first of all, uh, we'll set the chip to be um, a silicon of some sort. So I can find silicon. Let's the actual um, board itself, let's um, apply a sort of plastic. So let's, uh, let's use epoxy. And then the heatsink will um, maybe give it a copper material. So um, to do that again, we just triple click, make sure the body is selected, and then apply a different material. So that's one nice thing about discovery. Um, you can quickly analyze different materials and potentially make um, better choices on um, design based on, on material properties. So let's hit the, um, the solve button again, now that we've, um, now that we've changed the materials. And as it's solving, now it's solved, we can see clearly the temperature has now decreased. Um, and we can track these changes as well here. So if we look at max temperature, we can see our chart. So these are our design points. So we have dropped from 48 to uh, 43. One thing we may want to change as well is the, um, the convection rate. So this may be too high, so we can drop this down to five. And again, as soon as we do that, the simulation will re-update and we can see the temperature has shot up. So we're looking at a 60 degree temperature and that's more likely to be a realistic um, convection rate. So um, looking at this design, uh, you may think that um, maybe the 60 degree temperature is too high, um, that we need to optimize the, um, the heatsink. So we can make design changes again very, very quickly using some of our design tools. In our design tab, we have tools such as pull and move. These tools can be used to make design changes on the fly. One of them I'm going to use is the move tool. And I'm going to box select all my top faces of the heatsink. And maybe um, I've got um, room to, to uh, increase the height of these fins. So let's increase the height by 20 mil. Once I've done that, the solution will re-simulate. Instantly, we're seeing these design changes update in our chart and our max temperature has decreased down to um, 48 degrees. 
So that's just a very quick um, um, way you can use ANSYS Discovery for thermal simulation um, in relation to like electronics enclosure. The next thing I'm going to be looking at is CHT analysis and uh, or fluid solid heat transfer. So first of all, I'm going to open up a uh, another model. I'll open the model to run the CHT analysis, which is going to be this model. And the um, the first step, I'm going to just quickly make this uh, component transparent. So I'm going to click on it, use my tool guide on the left hand side and make the body transparent. We can clearly see our fluid region now. So I'm going to extract the fluid volume using the volume extract tool in the prepare tab. To do this, we click on a face with an opening or faces. Then we'd select a seed face or an internal face and then hit the tick box. And then what we should have have in our tree is a, um, a volume created. So um, now I'm going to create my fluid analysis. So I'm going to click this face. I'm going to presume this is the inlet and I'm going to specify a uh, velocity of one meter per second. And I'm also going to apply a, a temperature to this. So I'm going to apply, this is going to be a cooling channel. So let's apply a temperature. Let's maybe decrease this to eight degrees. I'm then going to apply my outlet to this face and hit the tick box. So that's my fluid setup. I'm now going to start with my um, thermal conditions. So these three transistors, I'm going to apply a heat source to. And I'm going to apply 100 watts of heat. And I'm just triple clicking to get the bodies and then hitting enter. So now we're running a, a fluid solid heat transfer. Before that, I'm going to just set up some materials. At the moment, this is just all structural steel. We've got our fluid as water, which is okay. Um, but I'm going to specify these and I'm going to change the material to maybe a silicon. And let's do those together. So I've set up more material. Um, so now we can see that these three parts are silicon. We've got this is structural steel and that is water. Um, I'm going to change my convection de default to uh, five. And then we're ready to go. So we're ready to solve this problem. So I'm going to hit the solve tool. One thing I might be interested in is the average temperature of um, of the maybe the let's let's uh, the first transistor and the and the last so let's um just um, add some monitors to these two areas so i'm going to add that so just i'm going to just rerun the um rerun the simulation so i get two values for these so um, we've got this one as my first um, value and then as soon as this is um, converged we, so we can clearly see that the the first transistor is obviously getting a lower temperature the, the last transistor is getting a higher temperature um, and if we now look at um, velocity we'll be able to see that um, that fluid flow and we can see that there's not much flow getting to the third transistor so that's most likely why we're getting a higher temperature what's quite nice about discovery is again we can make these design changes on the fly so what we might do uh, let's try and see what happens if we remove these two um, connecting channels and see if that decreases our average temperature of our transistors. So to do that, I'm just going to just pause the simulation and, and then I'm going to click on these two faces. Using our design tools, I'm going to use the fill tool to actually make a quick design change. So I'm going to use the fill tool. We should see those channels now disappear. Um, I'm then going to rerun my simulation. So at the moment we're looking at velocity and we're looking at streamlines, but let's look at temperature. And uh, let's bring up these again. So obviously the solution is converging still. So let's look at our temperature for our third transistor. And so we can see the third transistor has dropped from 22 to 16.7. Um, the first one has gone up from 16.3 to 18, but they have both averaged out now to a to a lower temperature. 
So, um, so you can make design changes, and that's just a quick example of thermal simulation showing um, uh, electronics initially, and then a fluid solid heat transfer. Again, if you have any questions on this, please feel free to get in touch.